welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting American craft beers with Dr. Dave. Imagine that. More craft beer. Now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights. Today we have one that I haven't had in ages. Oh, yeah. This is from the Left Hand Brewing Company located in Longmont, Colorado. And this is the Peanut Butter Milk Stout. That says right here on the side of the can, it checks in at 6.2% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 25. The date stamp doesn't really matter that much. It's 82 days old, but with a beer like this, you don't have to worry about it. Now, this beer is already open because I was in the middle of the review, and all of a sudden the power flickered and everything went off. And man, Murphy's Law, right? Murphy's Law. What can go wrong will go wrong. And... Everything costs more than you think it will. Yeah, Murphy was a smart guy, no doubt. Or maybe it was a, a woman. Who knows? Yeah. But anyway, I poured the beer out already, and I had started to taste it. And it did make a lovely uh, amount of foam on here. We can bring that back. That's not an issue. Let's go ahead and just stir it up here for a minute. That's about how it looked when I poured it out originally. Of course, it was right up to the top. Uh, dark, dark color uh, with a milk stout like this. You're not going to see anything. Now, I already had some aroma, and it is absolutely, positively nothing but peanut butter and chocolate. And let's thank the brewers. We always have to pay homage to the brewers because without the brewers, we would have absolutely no beer, right? So many thanks to the brewers at uh, Left Hand Brewery in Longbun, Colorado. A cheers to them, and cheers to you at home for watching, no doubt. Now, I commented once before, and I'll say it again. This beer is absolutely positively delicious with lots of peanut butter, lots of chocolate. Matter of fact, it reminds me of a Reese's peanut butter cup. And if you look on the can here, that's exactly what it has a depiction of without saying that, of course. The only fault that I find about this brew is it's a slightly light bodied. It could be a little bit more uh, full, a little bit more mouthfeel on it, if you will. It's lightly carbonated. Perhaps that's the design of the beer, but it just doesn't have a full bodied mouthfeel to me as it should with this much flavor. Speaking of which, I would not drink this as a standalone beer. I would highly recommend that anybody who's going to drink this beer do so after a big meal, a digestive, if you will. After the big meal is all said and done, I certainly would not go into a bar and order two, three, or four of these to drink. Mm -mm. One is plenty. As a matter of fact, this is a 12-ounce can, and I would split this with somebody. Maybe two or three people I would split this with because a six ounces is plenty of this beer. I've already had a few ounces uh, it's going to take me quite a while to finish this, and I may put it in the refrigerator. Hopefully it stays. Sometimes you put a beer in the fridge and it goes so flat, it's undrinkable. Hopefully that doesn't happen on this beer. But uh, it is definitely a dessert type of a beer. It is a specialty beer. It is delicious from the Left Hand Brewing Company out of Longmont, Colorado. It's a shame that I don't see these beers too much on store shelves anymore. But there's so many beers out there. There's so many local beers, and the merchants have to pick and choose which beers they're going to carry. And unfortunately, the beers from out of state are getting crowded out of the marketplace. Yeah. So it is what it is. There's just so many microbrews out there today. And it uh, seems like shopkeepers want to give the local guys a chance. And I think that's great. Yeah, you got to support your local breweries or they won't be in business. But at the same time, I do miss seeing those beers on store shelves. But like I said, this is a, a light bodied beer, very lightly carbonated. But the taste, man, it's a full, full flavor taste. Oh, peanut butter and chocolate. If that's what you like, you'll love this beer. Man. Now, I did allow this to warm up slightly on the countertop, probably about 15 minutes or so. You don't want to drink this ice cold, man, because you will not get the peanut butter and chocolate that the brewers intended. Mm. 
Man, this is a rich, satisfying brew. Leaving some lovely lacing there on the side of the glass as well, so it's a well-crafted beer. I tell you what, my friends, uh, you owe it to yourself if you like chocolate and peanut butter to try this. I know it's a non-traditional style of beer, but brewers do great things these days with recipes, and uh, you won't be disappointed. All right, with that in mind, until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.